Hello, good evening, Edwin. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? How do you feel today? I'm fine, teacher. Perfect. What about your job? How was it? Mm, a little busy. A little bit busy? So I, yes. Yeah, I left my job. Friday, right. Okay, perfect. Good evening, Carlos Eduardo. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Are I'm sorry to stay. I'm, I'm going to stay only listening because That's I'm on the work. Yes, okay, it's okay. All right, so Rafael is also here, but he's going to be as a listener as well because he has um uh, something else to do today. Well, okay, guys, so we're going to start with today's class, okay? Then um, the first thing that we're going to cover today is today's agenda. So we're going to start with the warm-up, then we are going to move to grammar, and today we are going to cover unit four, part of unit four, and we are going to talk about training, and we are going to also cover the first conditional. Then we are going to move to a speaking time. We have some quizzes, okay, reading quizzes, and also vocabulary quizzes. The first thing right now that we are going to start with is the following. So we are going to start with the odd one out, okay? So as you can see right here, we have an example. So what is the odd one out? The odd one out means the different, yeah? So odd one out means the different. It means the different. So we have example. For example, we have dog, cat, donkey, and dragon. Which one is the odd one out from those four? What do you think? What do you think is the odd one out? Which one is the different from those four and why? So we have a short explanation, okay? So we have, I think the odd one out, this is how you need to answer, okay? So I think the odd one out is dragon. Why? Because it is a mythical creature and all the others are real creatures. Yeah? So in this case, we have dog, cat, donkey, and dragon. So those are real. Dog, cat, donkey. But dragon? No, right? In this case, we have some other ones. Okay, so we have Thailand, Singapore, Tokyo, England, and Vietnam. Which one is the odd one out? Which one is the different? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Which one is the different? Uh -huh. Any idea? Let's see, Edwin, Carlos Dominguez, good evening. We also have Eulise. Uh -huh. Nelson, which one is the odd one out? I think the odd one out is Tokyo because this is a city and the other one and the others are countries. Excellent. And that is correct. Okay. That is totally correct. So the odd one out from the first line is Tokyo because the other ones are countries, right? And Tokyo is a city. That is correct. Very good. All right. Any other idea? Any other idea about the first line? Mm -hmm. Just for the one that just joined, um, we are actually starting with the odd one out. The odd one out means the different, okay? So from Thailand, Singapore, Tokyo, England, and Vietnam, the old one out or the different is Tokyo because Tokyo is a city and the other ones are countries, okay? What about line number two? We have car, airplane, truck, bus, and train. Which one is the old one out and why? Mm -hmm. Which one is the odd one? Airplane. Out? Airplane. Why? Because only airplane fly. Okay. 
Yes, right, that is true. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then we also have a strawberry, an apple, a tomato, and a banana. Which one is the odd one out from those four and why? A tomato. A tomato, why? It's a vegetable. Because it is a vegetable. Okay, and the other ones are fruits. Perfect. Any other idea? Mm -hmm. On line number three, a strawberry, an apple, a tomato, and a banana. So Carlos Arias said a tomato because it's a vegetable. Any other idea? So the banana is all one now because the color is different. Okay, very good. So the banana is the odd one out because the color is different, okay? Yes, so the strawberry, the apple, and the tomato, those are red, and the banana is yellow, right? So any other idea? Mm -hmm. The banana is, is different form. Correct. It, it has a different shape. Mm -hmm. That is correct. Okay. Yes. Very good. Um, and so, uh, an apple teacher, uh, uh, the two different colors. Okay. Uh, yes, that is correct. That is correct. You know what? Um, also, I will say that um, probably, right, probably, the old one out is going to be an apple because when it comes to grammar, all of them start with a, a tomato, a banana, a strawberry. And this one is an apple, right? So I will say that that is another difference. Okay, what about number four? Overseas, worldwide, domestic, and global. Which one is the odd one out? Mm -hmm. Yes, overseas means in el extranjero. Worldwide means mundial. Mm -hmm. So which one is the odd one out from those four? What do you think? Maybe domestic. Domestic. I think that domestic is in a local area. Correct. And the others is uh, far. Yes. Far. Correct. Totally correct. Okay. And the last one. We have intermittently, constantly, unceasingly, and continually. Which one is the odd one out? Mm -hmm. I don't know the meaning of unsensibly. Unceasingly. Uh, unceasingly. Yes, it is um incessante. Que no para. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then intermit intermittently. Intermittently. Because mm -hmm. it's not a uh, constantly. Correct. That is correct, okay? So the other one out is going to be intermittently. Mm -hmm. That is correct. Okay, perfect. Let's move, all right? Let's move. All right, guys. So we are going to start with the book, all right? And let's see, we have a role play. We have a conversation right there. I need two volunteers, please. Edwin, the Alex, and um, Nelson, Rick. Okay, uh, this was your, I heard a month ago, wants to know how to get promoted. He asked me about training opportunities. Ah, very good. You see, I want to scale uh, servers training for next month. 
and and one for cashiers. Performance this month was not so good. Some customers play, complained about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think servers need a good training. Let's identify their skill and knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that. And don't forget we have to evaluate the servers after the training. All right. Thank you. All right, guys. Do you remember um, the definition that you created about training? So let me ask you, Nelson, why is training important? Because when you when you go to uh, any training, you improve the skills, uh, your personality, and etc. Cetera, et cetera. All right. Yes, etc. Very good. Thank you. Okay. First of all, guys, yes, that is correct. Let's focus on pronunciation. Remember that this one is hired, hired, right? And this one is going to be schedule, schedule, a schedule, a schedule, schedule. Excellent, like that. Thank you. All right. Perfect. So in this case, um, it says we have a couple of questions, um, that we need to answer. Who is asking for a promotion according to this conversation? Who is the person asking for the promotion? Mm -hmm. uh, let's ask the dishwasher. Correct. The dishwasher. And what did the customers complain about? Mm -hmm. What did the customers complain about according to this conversation? Mm -hmm. They complain about what? Okay. No. All right. Okay, guys. So um, they complain about having to wait for too long. Okay. Some customers complain about having to wait for too long. And now number three. What a staff will receive training what stuff mm -hmm. server stuff servers correct all right and what steps will alex and rick take for the training what are the steps that they will take for the training mm -hmm. Evaluate the server. Okay. Identify their skill and knowledge. Exactly. They first will identify their skills and knowledge. Yeah. So we can include everything that they need in the training. That is correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Exactly. All right. So let's move. And now let's um, resolve this. It says, how do you organize training for your staff? This is about critical thinking, okay? So let's number the steps in the correct order. What do you do first um, in order for us to organize a training for the staff? Huh? What do we do first? Think about it. What do you first think? analyze the job? First, you need to analyze the job. All right, you first analyze the job. Okay, let's add number one. Then. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
evaluate performance after training? You evaluate the performance after training? Okay. Uh, that Identify could... personnel, current skill and knowledge. Okay. So number two goes there. Okay. Evaluate performance after training? No, because this one is after you have given yes. the training, right? So that should be almost the last step. Mm -hmm. What do you do next? Do you decide the skills and knowledge gaps? Or do you evaluate performance after training? But that one is almost the, the last one. Do you decide do you... skill and knowledge gaps? Okay. Mm. Identify training solution. Identify training solutions. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Desire skills and knowledge gaps. This one is almost, um, I would say, um, the last one. Evaluate performance. Okay, you evaluate performance after training. training. Okay, all right. And then, and then after you evaluate the performance after training. Desired skills. Okay. Desired skills and knowledge. And what about the implement training? You forgot about that one. I think implement training is number four. Okay. Number four. Let me erase this one. So number four. Okay. So first you analyze the job, okay? Then you identify personal's current skills and knowledge, okay? Then you identify the training solutions. Then you implement the training, okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Then, evaluate performance. Correct. You evaluate after performance training. after training, okay? And once you have evaluated the performance after training, you can decide skills and knowledge right. gaps. Why? Because gaps are like vacíos que el training ya dejó. Identifica esos vacíos y esas habilidades que tal vez no se cubrieron en el training. Okay? So that will be the last one. Okay? Very good. Right? Like that. Hmm. Okay, guys. Let's move. So now, let's move to grammar. So today, we are going to study the first conditional. Do you remember about yesterday's class? About the zero conditional? Yes. Right? Okay. So today, we are going to continue with the first conditional. And this one is really easy as well. It's simple, okay? Um, the first conditional is the one that we used to talk about possibilities. Let's match the sentence with uh, the helps, yeah? So we have letter A, if the shirt isn't dry enough, what will you wear? Number two, if you pay attention, Mm -hmm. If you pay attention, what happened? You will know what's going on. You will know what's going on, of course. Now, what will he do? Now, let's move to letter D. If you don't ask, He 
The answer, the answer will, will always, will be, always no. be no. Excellent. Always. The answer will always be no. Correct. If you bring the drinks, I'll make the food. Perfect. And she'll be here in 10 minutes. If there's no traffic. If there's no traffic. If you go to a bingo night. You can make new friends. You can make new friends. And we can go on holiday. What will you wear? Mm, no. That one is good for letter A. We can go on oh, holiday. if he doesn't get the job. No. <laughs> We no. can go on holiday. That is possible. If my, if my if dad, my gets, dad a gets a bonus at work. If or... my dad gets a bonus oh. at work. So that means that you are going to have money, right? And now let us see what will he do. If he doesn't get if the job. If he doesn't get the job. Correct. Mm -hmm. Now let me ask you something. Can you observe that we are using simple present and which other tense? Which other tense are we using? Future. Future will. Mm -hmm. yes. That is correct. So for the first conditional, we use simple present and future will. That is the most common structure that we have for the first conditional, okay? For the zero conditional, the one that we covered yesterday, we use simple present and simple present. For the first conditional, we use simple present and simple future will. Very good, All right? So let's move. Now, let me ask you, and this one is about the zero conditional. This is not, this is not about first conditional, okay? This is about zero conditional. I need you to give me a sentence in zero conditional, the one that we studied yesterday, okay? Uh, Susana, what do you do if you get a headache? What do you do? If I got a headache, I get, uh -huh. if I get a headache, Mm, I don't feel good. I don't feel good. Perfect. Excellent. Well done. Eh, Anna, what do you do if you get a toothache? Uh, if I get toothache, mm -hmm. I take drugs for the pain. Or ah, for you, the pain. Okay. So in this case, uh, repeat after me and say toothache. Toothache. Okay. Toothache. Yeah, ache. Ache. Uh -huh. okay. uh, so you if you get a toothache, you take some medicine. You take pills. Uh -huh. All right. Uh -huh. okay. Perfect. Um Carlos Arias, what do you do if you oversleep? Mm -hmm. What do you do if you oversleep? I'm sorry. Um, do you know what is the meaning of oversleep? Correct. So what do you do if you oversleep? Drink a coffee. Okay, so if I if, oversleep. If I oversleep, drink a coffee. I drink a coffee. Drink a coffee, okay. Okay. All right. Uh, Nelson, what do you do if something you buy breaks after a few days?
Mm -hmm. What do you do? Break, uh, meaning of uh, rest? Uh, no. Break uh, means quebrarse o dañarse. Oh, okay. So what do you do if something you buy breaks after a few days? Mm -hmm. No logro entenderle. No? All right. Uh, let me ask um, Salvador. What do you do if something you buy breaks after a few days? I return to the shop. To the store. To the store. Okay, so if something I buy breaks after a few days, I return it to the store. Mm -hmm. Teacher, yes. uh -huh. what do you mean the question? Because I don't understand. You don't get it? All right. So what do you do if something you buy breaks after a few days? ¿Qué es lo que hace usted si algo que usted compra se arruina dentro de unos días? Ah, okay. Thanks. Okay. Yes. Okay, so uh, Salvador said, I return it to the store. Lo regreso a la tienda. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes. What is the difference between shop and store? Shop yes. no se usa para tienda. Mm, to the shop. Yes, but it's not that common. It's not that common, yes. Um, most of the time, the difference is that uh, one word, it is used in British English, and the other one is in American English. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So um, in the U.S., we say a store. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why we say a store. Yes. Thanks. Okay. Very good. So now, let's move. Right, very good because you remember, okay? You remember about, about um, the zero conditional. Okay, so now let me ask uh, Eulise. Eulise, who does the dishes in your house? Uh, the dishes. Who does the dishes in your house? Who does the dishes in your house? Uh, the dishes does mm -hmm. the dishes does uh, I don't know quien lava los platos algo así correct okay uh, the dishes wash for my mom okay now alright my mom okay. my mom does does the dishes the dishes okay all right yes very good uh wilbur where does a nurse work sorry i'm near him oh okay wilbur, sorry about that uh don't worry wilbur okay uh, anna where does a nurse work Um, the nurse attend the patient. Okay. The, okay. The nurse attends. Attends. Uh, yes. Attends. Patient. Yes. Patient. Okay. But where does a nurse work? Repeat, please. Yeah. Where? Where? Where does a nurse work? The place where. Ah, okay. In a hospital, the nurse uh, work in a hospital? The nurse work or the nurse works? The nurse works in a right. hospital. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Um, let me see. Hosman. What do you do, Hosman, at 8 a.m. on Mondays? Uh, in Monday... Uh, on Monday, okay. On Monday, 
In Monday, uh, I am in Marin. Okay. In my job. No, in. On. On. On Monday. On Monday. Uh -huh. On Monday, you are uh, on meetings. Okay. Perfect. Um, Teacher. Yes. Uh, I have a question. Yes. Mm -hmm. How do you say yo me presento a las yo me presento a trabajar a la oficina? I go to work or I go to the office. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Okay, perfect. Um, okay. Um, Salvador, what do you do on Sunday afternoons? What do you do? I I go to the church. You go to the church. Perfect. Nelson, what do you do at 8 a.m. on Mondays? Uh, on Mondays at 8 a.m., I prepare my breakfast. Your breakfast. Perfect. Edwin, and what do you do on Sunday afternoons? Um. I go to the shore with my father. Okay, I go, I go, okay? Yes, I go, perfect. Okay, guys, very good. Don't forget about third person, okay? Third person, third person. All right, let me see. Now, eh, those are critical thinking uh, conversation questions, okay? Let me ask. Okay, Nelson. How important, how important are morals in a healthy society? Society. Do you know what are morals? Valores. Correct. Uh, okay, so it's very important, important because uh, makes uh makes the people responsible. Okay and learn to respect uh, another people other people okay perfect and in your um okay um in your opinion nelson what are the most important morals for citizens what is the meaning of citizens ciudadanos Ciudadan. okay? yes so what are the most important morals for citizens to have give me three respect Respect, yes. No sé cómo decir empatía. Empathy. Empathy. Mm -hmm. mm. Eh, solidaridad. <ríe> no sé cómo. Okay. Um, you can say mm, solidarity. Solidarity, empathy. And respect. respect. Perfect. Very good. Okay. In your opinion, Hosman, what are the most important morals for citizens to have? Give me three. Mm -hmm. um, for example, the love. Love, okay. Mm -hmm. No, no sé cómo decirlo así. Uh -huh. uh, por ejemplo, solidaridad. Oh, Nelson, how do you say solidaridad? Solidarity. Solidarity. Mm -hmm. One more, Houseman. Mm. Tener, eh, no sé, en, uh, ay. Mm. generoso. Kind. No. O kindness. Sorry? Kindness. Kindness. Yes, generosidad, kindness, yes. Okay, okay. very good. Excellent. Eh, Salvador. Uh, the most important morals are love, justice, justice. Um, 
Trust. Trust. Perfect. Trust. Okay. All right. Excellent. All right. So, eh, Susana, are emotions necessary for human survival? Yes or no? And why? I think the emotions are very important mm -hmm. because it's the way for communicate for mm -hmm. other one okay. or with other one. Mm -hmm. And if you don't say, how do you feel? How uh, you nobody feel? can understand you. So it's important, the emotions. Okay. For that reason. Perfect. All right. What do you think, Anna? Do you think that emotions are necessary for human survival? Or, or no? I think that the empathy. Empathy is really important. Yes, because uh, you can uh, feel uh, that the other people feel and mm -hmm. research the way to help to help them help help them okay all right guys think about this one number three what is the most beneficial emotion in your own words okay in your opinion which one is the most beneficial emotion and how about the most disruptive Okay, first of all, the most beneficial. Mm -hmm. What is it? I think it could be a, a, a love teacher. Love, why? Because the love it, it comes with a, so many emotions mm -hmm. and expression and you mm -hmm. can trust in that person. And so you receive uh, that emotion and you feel better. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, the contrast and the mm -hmm. hate, if you express mm -hmm. in a different, uh, I don't know how to say it. If you express your emotion in a, in a bad way, mm -hmm. So you're feeling a result of bad. Uh, you can you can feel your emotion angry, sad. Mm -hmm. So uh, the hate is the, the most uh, destructive Destruct. emotion. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Yes, I support your opinion. Okay, somebody else. What is the most beneficial emotion and the most destructive i think that the most beneficial is the happiness mm -hmm. because it's a uh, uh, emotion uh, personality okay i mm -hmm. feel happiness uh, with me only that mm -hmm. and the most destructive for me is i don't know if the correct the pronunciation but ira uh, no, in this case, it's going to be um, like ira, ira, uh -huh. okay, uh -huh. so in this case, no, it is going to be, how do you say ira, guys, somebody that knows, ira. Ira, 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 ira. No. Mm hmm. Hope temperate. And no. Hot temper. Yes, but ira is anger. Anger. Ira. Okay. Yes. Okay. Very good. All right. Yes, that is the most destructive. I think that yes, I agree. Mm -hmm. Okay. Somebody else. I think the 
most beneficial emotions joy joy okay uh, and most destructive is bitterness I, I want to say amargura no sé cómo yes. se dice correcto yes could be And that is correct as well, right? Yes. Bitterness. I think the most the most destructive emotion is be selfish. Selfish, okay. All right. Because you don't you don't share anything. Mm -hmm. And okay, that is the most destructive and the most beneficial for you. Mm, the sincerity. Okay. Yes. Okay. Perfect. All right, guys. So, and the last one right now. Are you more worried about doing things right or doing the right things? Doing things right or doing the right things. Mm -hmm. No. Sorry, teacher. Que mm -hmm. es de... Team right. Doing things right, okay? Yeah. Yes. Um, doing things right is hacer las cosas bien. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, but <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like uh, it sounds the same, but uh, in the same, after the comma, mm -hmm. says the uh, it is the, the the word that. So I think it changed something, but I don't know the difference. Okay, all right, don't worry. So yes, I think the more important for me, and I am worrying for uh, doing the right thing okay. because. Uh, if I do the right and I can do the correct for everyone, everything. Very good. Thank you, Erwin. Yes, that is correct. Okay, so very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Then in this case, if um, someone asks you, are you more worried about doing things right? Si está usted más preocupado por hacer eh, las cosas bien o por hacer cosas buenas. Doing the right things. Like uh, an action. Yes, actions. Uh, okay. mm -hmm. I, am more, I am more worried for doing the right things yeah because uh -huh. because i'm a sincere person and i don't mm -hmm. like i don't like say lies okay. or or hurt the other people's with my actions okay and i always think about how the people feel for my actions okay so i be, i think I am more worried for doing the right things, always. Okay. All right, very good, excellent. Okay, well done, all right? Um, all right, now let's move. And let's talk about the first conditional, okay? Uh, Susana, help me reading the, the definition. Yeah, first conditional. First conditional is used to talk about actions events in the future which are likely to happen or having a real possibility or happening. 
Thank you. All right. So in this case, guys, it says the first conditional is used to talk about actions, events in the future, in the future, which are likely. What is the meaning of likely? What is the meaning of likely? Parecido. Eh, it's like probably. Yeah. So in the future, which are likely to happen, que probablemente van a suceder, okay, or have a real possibility of happening. Mm -hmm. For example, in this case, okay, we have those type of um, examples. We are going to talk about superstitions. Okay, because when it comes to the first conditional, superstitions are expressed, all right, on first conditional. So let's see. It says, if your right hand itches, what happens? What is the superstition that people says? Uh -huh. If your right hand itches, do you know what is the meaning of itches? itches. Uh -huh. Yes, itches means, in this case, is third person. Si se fija, tercera persona, porque estamos hablando de hand, right? Entonces, por eso es itches, with E-S, yeah? Eh, itches, picar, que le pica. You will earn money. Okay, very good. You will earn money. Yeah, and that is true. Like, it's cuando, really. I, I mean, cuando, cuando le pica la mano a uno, well, I don't know, pero es una superstition, right? Le dicen, vas a tener dinero. You haven't heard about that? It's very common. I'll be rich. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, well, I, I was I heard that. I heard that when I was a child, but my mother said, you broke something. <laughs> okay, so in this case, I would say that it could be true if you believe, right? If you believe. Now, number two. If you, this one is another superstition, very common. If you find a four-leaf clover, what will happen? El trebol. You will be lucky. Okay, you will be? Lucky. Lucky, okay. Now, this one, I haven't heard about this one, but I read about it and it's a superstition, okay? It says, if a girl drinks salt water, then goes to sleep, the superstition is that she will see her future husband in her dream. That is a superstition. Okay, yeah. Now, if the first, if the first butterfly you see in the year is white, butterflies, that is true. Okay, if the first butterfly you see in the year is white, you will what bring, would you? You will lucky on you. Yes, correct. It will bring you a good luck all year all right this one is about when you are having a birthday if you blow all the candles on your birthday cake in one blow what happens your wish will come true your wishes will come true yes cuando usted sopla las velitas y las apaga todas de un solo se te va a cumplir le dicen right yeah, porque las sopló y, y se apagaron todas, right? Mm -hmm. Now, if you walk under a ladder, ladder, a ladder es una escalera de esas que utilizan las personas eh, para pintar, que se suben en la escalera. Now, you will have a look. Bring you seven years of bad luck. Okay, um, seven years of bad luck. Are you sure? Or 
you will have bad luck only. You will have bad luck. Yes. You will have bad luck. Correct. Now, number seven. When a cat sneezes three times indoors, it will rain in 24 yes, hours. In 24 hours. That is a superstition, but I don't think so. But it people say that, yes. And number eight, if you break a mirror, it will bring you seven years of bad luck. Correct. It will bring you seven years of bad luck. Yes. Have you read the story of this? Have you read the story about the, the mirror? I'm not really sure because I don't I don't really remember, okay? But but I read it. Okay, I read it and I'm not sure if um if it was the Romans back then, all right? That they believe that if you break a mirror, your soul, right? Su alma, los romanos, no me no me recuerdo si eran ellos, eh, decían que ellos creían. They believed que el alma se regeneraba en siete años. Y por eso quedó la superstición, que si usted eh, quebraba un espejo, su, ar, su alma se iba a renovar, se iba a regenerar en siete años, que hasta los siete años iba a pasar la mala suerte. Yes. Ok. Then, let's see. Let's move. Now, when it comes to the structure, guys, we have positive, negative, and questions. Ok. So we have a sentence in simple present tense as we covered before, and we have a sentence in future will. And you see, if it is sunny, we will go to the park. Yeah? Si está soleado, nosotros iremos. Futuro, iremos al parque. Mm -hmm. Now, if it doesn't rain tomorrow, we will go to the beach. Si no llueve mañana, iremos a la playa. Future. Questions? Will you ask our teacher for help if you have a question? Le preguntarás o le solicitarás o le pedirás a nuestro maestro si tienes alguna pregunta. Le pedirás ayuda a nuestro maestro si tienes alguna pregunta. ¿Mm? Yes, I will. No, I won't. Okay. Yes. So you see? Now, this is about the future. Eso es del futuro. Okay. Utilizamos para cosas que son probablemente van a pasar en un futuro. Existe una probabilidad. ¿De qué van a suceder? Yes. Um, well, and with this one, if you remember yesterday, uh, we also talked about when. Que les mencioné de when. Que a veces podemos utilizar when. The same thing with the first conditional. Okay? But it depends. La oración tiene que tener sentido. Because we cannot say, when it doesn't rain tomorrow, we will go to the beach. No tiene sentido si decimos, when it doesn't rain tomorrow. Okay, it doesn't make sense. Pero puede sustituir el if con when. Si la oración tiene sentido. Oh, what time is it? I need to say the attendance. Okay, so do you have any question right now? Tiene preguntas, tiene dudas? I think that my internet is breaking. Uh -huh. Questions or doubts? No. Okay. Well, yes, guys. Remember, okay, things that, that you don't uh, or you shouldn't forget, okay? A simple present sentence in a future will sentence, okay? Yeah. Of course, there are many other things that... Um, 
we are we are going to cover okay but the most basic things are those about the first conditional but if you search or look for information on the internet you will find a lot of information about the first conditional we are covering just the basic things okay all right so now let's move and let's read some examples anna please read the first three examples then salvador the other two examples in the middle and eulise the questions please okay if i study today i'll go to the party tonight if i have enough money i'll buy some new shoes if i see her i'll tell her all right thank you La primera palabra se dice chill o cómo se pronuncia? Chill. Perdón. Chill. Así como dijo. She'll miss the bus if she doesn't leave soon. Mm -hmm. If you don't put on a repellent, you'll you'll get beaten. Yes. Perfect. What will you do if you can sleep at night? Mm -hmm. And what will you eat if you are angry at midnight tonight? Okay, this one is hungry, 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 hungry. Mm -hmm. Yes, guys. So if I study today, I'll go to the party tonight. So si yo estudio ahora, okay, iré a la fiesta en la noche. Yeah. If I have enough money, I'll buy some new shoes. Si tengo suficiente dinero, compraré zapatos nuevos. And you can also include a time expression, the next month, a next Monday, una expresión en futuro. Si se quiere, lo puede incluir. Okay? So if I see her, I'll tell her. Si la veo, le voy a decir. Si la veo, le diré. If I see her, I'll tell her. Mm -hmm. Yes. And we also have this one. She'll miss the bus if she doesn't leave soon. Ella perderá el bus si eh, no sale rápido. En español sería como, te va a dejar el bus si no te apuras, ¿verdad? That would be in, in Spanish. ¿Ok? Esa sería la interpretación. Now, if you don't put on repellent, you'll get eh, beaten. Uh -huh. Si no se pone repelente, right? lo van a picar los angulos. All right. And then, what would you do if you can't sleep at night? What will you eat if you are hungry at midnight tonight? ¿Qué comerá? ¿Qué hará? Future, right? Excellent. Do you have any doubt about this, guys? Any question before moving on to this part? No? Okay. So in this case, this is for you to work, right? Um, on Teams, I will move you, but first I'm going to take the attendance, okay? And then we are going to come because we are going to take a quiz and it is related to the zero conditional, okay? It's a, a zero conditional quiz, but um, let me take the attendance first, okay? Let's see. Okay, so here we go. Ana Lorena Lobato. Present. Thank you. Andrea Sofia Benitez. Andrea. Blanca Jennifer Torres. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Eduardo Torres. Present. Yes, thank you. Carlos Francisco Arias. Present teacher. Thank you. Cesar Homero Amaya. 
Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present teacher. Thank you. Eulice Torres Torres. Present. Thank you. Fátima Noemi Umaña. Fátima. Glenda Toledo. Glenda. Let's see. Okay. Present. Yes. Uh, Glenda. Okay. Um, Salvador Bernal. I'm here. Thank you. Hosman Atilio. Present. Thank you. Juan Francisco Salmerón. Karen Lisette Sanchez. Karen. Catherine Indira Velasquez. Let me see. Karen. Um, Marlon Oswaldo Paniagua. Nelson Alberto Peraza. Here. Thank you. Rafael Alexander Serna. Present teacher. Thank you. Raúl Ernesto González. Oh, Raúl is not here. Uh, Rosa del Carmen Enríquez. Present. Thank you. Susana Milena Cruz Reyes. Present. Thank you. Walter David Díaz Ruiz. Yeah, Walter. Mm -hmm. Wilber Alberto. Present. Thank you. And Jancy. Jancy is not here either. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. So what we are going to do is that we are going to take the zero conditional quiz. Okay, we are going to take it. So I will send it here, all right? The passcode is going to be grammar. So guys, this is just uh, this is just about the zero conditional. It's not about the first conditional. It's zero conditional about the topic that we covered yesterday. Yeah, zero conditional. Is the link grammar? Teacher? Yes, uh, mm -hmm. correct. The, the passcode. The passcode is grammar and the link is okay. the other one. Yeah. Once you are done, let me know. Okay. So I can you are going to start working on the on the on the sentences. And just remember about the structure, okay? La clave está que se acuerde de la estructura gramatical que vimos ayer.
Okay, guys, so I think that we have all. Oh, let me see. Um, okay, I can see that most of you, most of you got 100. Okay, most of you. Okay, very good. All right, so what we're going to do right now is that we are going to go to different breakout rooms. Okay, and we're going to start working on this. Yeah. So what you need to do is that you need to match. Yeah, you need to match which sentence goes, uh, goes with each um, letter, okay? So, and then you need to move to this part. You are going to create a sentence for each picture. You are going to use your imagination, okay? So we have number one. If you eat too much, you will get fat. In this case, it's about picture number one. Yeah, picture number two, you need to create a sentence, okay? With the first conditional only, okay? First conditional, yeah? Do you have any question? No? Okay, let's go. Open the class, open the class and let me see. Okay, here we go. I will send Rafael to him. Mm -hmm. I will send I will send this. And okay, this is me. I will send um, Yes, I'm going to move you. Uh, Rose. Okay. Let me see, Jennifer and I gotta stop. All right. Um Do you have any question? Um, Blanca, are you there? Yes, I got teacher. Oh, okay, all right. Uh, Jose? Yes. Okay, do you have any question? Mm. Nos podría compartir la pantalla porque no se puede compartir aquí. Ah, yes, ya, yeah. ya la habilité. Ahora sí. Sí, Ajá. ya la habilité, no la había habilitado. Do you have any question, guys? No, for the moment, I, I don't have the class. Okay. Do you have any question? Any doubt? Mm -hmm. No doubts, no questions. At the moment, not ah, sure. okay, perfect. So I can see that. Uh, let me move from six. Hello. Are you busy? Yeah, a little. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Can you write the sentence? Mm -hmm. mm, no. <laughs> Open word or a note? Notepad? Notepad. Notepad. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
es que tanto dolor han causado a la sociedad salvadoreña y el año siguiente en que se habrá encerrado en el que no hay que pasar. Y en los siguientes meses, el gobierno gobierno ha a miles de pandilleros que pagarán aquí sus condenas. Ok. Sin ningún privilegio. The second one. The second one, if you drive fast. If you drive fast, yeah. You okay. will cause crash. an accident. You will crash. Mm -hmm. You will crash. Crash or is you to will... come. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. You will crash. Or you will have an accident. Uh -huh. It's okay. Cause Both. an accident. No. Mm, it's okay. Uh, I can see the the notepad. I can't see the notepad. Ah, es que solo compartí la el navegador. Uh, Pero aquí estoy no, anotando. Pues, no, para... pues que se va a hacer pequeñito. Uh -huh. Entonces, pero aquí la voy anotando. Okay. Okay, third. If you uh, don't drink water. Thirsty. Thirsty. I, I guess is sediento. Sediento. Thirsty, yeah. Thirsty. Thirsty. But he is running. If you don't rain, um, it's okay, so. Or if you if you if you, if you, you run you, a lot, if you run a lot, if you run a lot, you you will get thirsty. you will you will ah, okay, or you will feel thirst. Hydrate, deshidratado. You will get this hydrate. Yes. Hay que comp Compartí para que podamos este, irlas haciendo juntos de una vez, porque vamos la vemos en el teléfono. Y por eso no da problema. Así que si la comparto, pues mucho que mejor. ¿Pueden ver algo? Mm, sí, ahorita. Sí. Creo que va usando el teléfono, el del carro, ¿ah? ¿eh? Sí. No, creo que es comida, no sé. No, un portafolio y es una como un folder que está subiendo el color amarillo. Puedes, okay. uh, sería if you dry very fast. ¿Quién está escribiendo? ¿O alguien está escribiendo? ¿Verdad? No, nadie. Nadie. ¿Puedes escribir tú? No. Tendría que ser en mi tele. Eh, ¿Estás viendo la pantalla? <risa> eh, yo lo estoy haciendo en mi cuaderno. Sí, porque igual o sea, estoy por medio también del teléfono. Entonces sería como... Yo podría poner if, if I drive very fast, you will, you will good. Tú podrías chocar, no sé cómo sería eso. Tú podrías tener un accidente. You, have, you will have a accident. No sé. Yes, you can say you, you will have an accident or you can say you will crash. Vas a chocar. Uh, repeat it for me, teacher. Yes, you okay. If you drive fast, you will crash. 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 Let's chocar. Yes, chocar. Okay. Thank you. Okay. 
you will. You will crash. You will be. Okay. No, just you will crash. Crash, okay. And the other, if you, if you run for, if you run uh, for a long, for a long time, or oh, no, I don't know, if you are run for mucho tiempo, for a long for a long period, long time, for a long, long it's time, a teacher. long time, is long time. Yes, it is mm -hmm. correct. You will exhausted. Yes, you will. You will be exhausted. You will be exhausted. Yeah. Uh, number four. <laughs> you, I believe it does. You drink that beer. <laughs> a beer. If you drink beer. If you drink a lot beer, you will be. Como se dice borracho? How do you say borracho? Oh, you will be. O tú que te caerás, no sé. Eh, Give me your example. Borracho. You will get drunk. Drunk, yeah. Uh, you will get drunk. You will get drunk. Drunk. Number five. If you were too much, if you were if you were too much. Too much. You will stressful. You will tired, 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 tired. Say. You will cansado. Yeah, you will you be will. tired. Number six. What is the margin? Number six. If you if you don't use a sweater, mm -hmm. you will get a how do you say frio? Cold? You will be you will be cold. You will be cold, okay. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> the cat black. Black cat. Okay. When no, come on, yes, I Y se te cruza un gato negro. 
¿Cómo decir eso? <risa> Mm. Ok. De la screen eh, lo vimos anterior que tendríamos mala suerte. Creo que ahí lo vimos que ahí tiene que estar. Mm, but if you want to say, si usted quiere decir como si se te cruza un gato negro, puede decirlo de esta manera, mira. Um, if a black cat crosses your path, se lo voy a mandar. If a black cat crosses your path, si un gato negro se te cruza en el camino y usted completa la idea. Mm -hmm. If a black cat crosses your path, en el chat, en el chat. Okay, or. No. Chat de dónde? Uh, if you if you come across a black cat, mm -hmm. you will have uh, seven years of bad luck. Right. You will have is correct, teacher? Yes, it is. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Writing, writing, Ulises. Writing. Uh, you will, you will, you will have mm -hmm. seven years. <laughs> okay. Of uh -huh. bad look. Of bad look. Back. Bad. Bad. B-A-D. B-A-D. Look. 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 Okay, look. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Mm -hmm. Number eight. Excellent. If you are uh, Okay, a nice cue. It's okay. I don't know what to think about the black cat. Cat. Mm. If you see if a you black see, cat, yes. you will uh, a yeah. bad look. No! <laughs> <laughs> I have a black cat. <laughs> <Please>. <laughs> <laughs> a black cat. Okay. My neighbors. Uh, you will. Te dormirá sobre el escritorio. Okay, number six. Six. If if you smoke you will get sick mm -hmm. yeah. alright cat the black cat. Okay, okay, okay. God, if you if you have a Black cat, you will get bad lucky. The cat is negro. If you study hard, uh -huh. you will be a successful person. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ahora right, number one. Number one. Sí. Quiero ver qué te comiendo. Pollo. Mm. 
If you eat, ¿cómo era comida chatarra? Um. Mm. I don't know. Otro compañero, ah, la teacher. How do you say comida chatarra? A snack. A snack. Or fast food. Fast food. Yeah. Fast food. Fast If... la comida rápida. Mm -hmm. Fast food. Food. Mm -hmm. There food. is another way. También hay otra um, expresión que mm -hmm. es junk food. Junk. Cualquiera de las dos, fast food or junk food. Está bien. Junk. Mm -hmm. junk food. Junk food, yes. ¿Tendrás colesterol alto como se dice, Ticha? Mm. High, high. Uh -huh. high cholesterol. Um, but high I would say you will or you will, uh, you're Cholesterol will increase. In, come, increase. Repeat, please. Increase. Increase. Mm -hmm. increase. Little bit weight. Uh -huh. Correct. Mm -hmm. You get overweight. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay, you finish? Yes. Perfect. All right. Let's let's go. Okay, let's move to the main room. Let's go back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Okay, so let me see. Okay, guys. Uh, number one. If everyone talks at the same time, what happens? If, er if everyone talks at the same time, we won't hear each other. Correct. We won't hear each other. When I get some time off, uh, I will visit a topic on this line. Yes. yes. Right. Number three, if we continue to work hard, we can become more. You will get a. We can we can become more successful. Successful, perfect. Successful. If we work as a team. Mm -hmm. Our salaries will increase. Okay. Our sales will increase. Perfect. If you go by taxi. You will get there quicker. Excellent. If you work too much. You will get stressed out. You will get out. stressed out. You will get stressed out. Stressed out. Oh, true. That is true. <laughs> yeah, you need to rest. Number seven. If you buy now, you will get a discount. You will get a discount. Yes. Get a discount. And number eight. If you don't take any risks, you, you won't gain. You won't gain, 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 you won't gain any risks. Correct. Perfect. All right. Very good. Now let's move to the ones that you created. Okay. Picture number two. Mm -hmm. If you drive fast, you will have a, an accident. You will have an accident. Perfect. Number three. If I, if you run for a long time, you will be exhausted. You will be as exhausted. Perfect. Number four. If you drink a lot, you will get drunk and happy. <laughs> okay, calm. You will get drunk only, okay? Uh, what about number five? If you don't wear a sweater, 
you will be an ice cube. Oh, okay, and number five? Ah, sorry. Don't worry. If you if you work a holic, you will feel exhausted. 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 Yes, that is true. If you're a workaholic, right? Yes. Number seven. Mm -hmm. Number seven. If you see a black car, you will get bad luck. You will get bad luck, okay? And number eight, the last one. If you read a lot, you will get knowledge. You will get knowledge. That is true. Very good. Teacher, okay. yeah. Maybe for the last, mm -hmm. will you be smart if you study younger? If you study at a young age, younger. Okay. Yes. Yes. It it makes sense. It does. Yes. Okay. All right. Perfect. Uh, any other idea? No? Okay. So you see, very simple, right? It's not difficult. And that is the first conditional. Yeah? All right. So right now, what we are going to do is that we are going to take the, um, the reading practice. Okay? The reading practice. But this reading is kind of different. Okay? Esa lectura es diferente. Es distinta, es diferente. ¿Por qué? I'm going to show. All right. So we have the reading quiz, the, the link. Okay, so we have the link. But you won't see the reading uh, inside the link. You will see the reading here where it says reading material. And the reading is about nuts. Okay, the benefits of nuts. Yeah, so we have cashews. Do you like cashews? Yes, I like it. Okay. Yes, I like it. Then it we too. also have pistachios. Yes, and, yes. and it's very expensive. Yes, that is correct. We also have Brazil nuts. No, I don't know that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think that we haven't tasted those. Uh, we also have almonds. Yes. yes. They, are delicious. they are delicious. Macadamias? No. No? No, no I haven't tasted I love it. Them. Okay, I haven't tasted it. Okay. All right. And we also have walnuts. All right. Walnuts. Um, that's good. Yes. All right. Good. So, um, walnuts... Uh, macadamias, almonds, uh, Brazil nuts, pistachios, and cashews. That is, um, this is the, the link for the reading. What you need to do is that you need to open the link for the quiz, okay, and then open the PDF, all right? I think that what I'm going to do is that I'm going to um, move you to the same breakout rooms where you were. So you can take it in teams. Uh, one can probably share the screen and the other ones can read and you can take it as a team, but take it individually, okay? Yeah. So this is the link, all right? And this is the reading uh, passcode, okay? Reading. Mm -hmm. So remember, one of you can share the screen and you can take it at the same time. You can read. Right. This is very important and interesting information. You will see. Okay. So let me see. Let's go back to the main room, to the uh, breakout rooms. Um,
Okay, so you are alone. All right. Mm, um, uh, you, you are on mute. Es, está en silencio. No tengo acceso a la, a la página. Ah, no tiene acceso. Espérame. Vamos a cambiarlo de salón. Ok. Okay, guys. Do you have access to the to the page to the document? Teacher, uh, uh, where is the link? The link is here. But, Remember that you can find the, the classes here, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, there are two links. Uh, the first one, the one that I sent first, is for the document, and the second one is for the spreadsheet in general. Okay. Entonces el primero es el que tengo que entrar. El primero, ahí el primero. El primero, tiene que abrir el primero. Lo puede tomar con su equipo o lo puede tomar individual, ¿ok? Eh, lo puse en equipo para que se les hiciera más fácil. Pero si lo van a tomar individual, it's ok. Solo abre el link y al mismo tiempo el examen, ¿verdad? Y está leyendo y, y hace las preguntas. La resuelve. Mm -hmm. Blow and skin. Okay. okay. Te da frío. Frío, no, ¿verdad? Blow and skin. Driva tu piel. Okay. C. Sí. Brazil nuts. I study from the University of. Echale. Okay, perfect. Okay. okay. Someone can be can read. Okay. Otro link para responder las cinco preguntas. Mm, ya. Es que a mí no me aparece esa esa cuestión del de la eh, página. Si te vas al link de si te vas al grupo de de al chat de de Zoom, ahí está el primer link, al primer link entras y ahí puedes ver lo que vamos a leer, lo de las frutas que estuvimos viendo en la clase. Um, mm -hmm. Vaya, gracias. Uh -huh. Bueno, pone yo. Y con alfa to no que alfa to 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 who has acne problems? I don't know. You are you are see the, the quiz, Rafael. Yes. No. Wait. Wait, finish the wait, wait. First uh -huh. is uh, finish read. the uh -huh, finish the read. 
Okay, letter, letter E, Macadamians, University of Hawaii found the, the, the people that who people. ate high ate fat. High fat. Macadams had the same cholesterol levels at, as those on a low fat diet. As those on a low, low fat diet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Walnuts. Walnuts. You are if you are worried about diabetes, no sé cómo. Diabetes. Diabetes or Six. cholesterol, you should stock up on walnuts. They are full of alpha ionic acid, which boasts your good cholesterol and stops fatty dip deposits from sinking to arteries. <laughs> Sorry for my pronunciation. <laughs> it's okay. It's a language. Uh, eh, pasa a las últimas no que identificar la respuesta por la pregunta que nos está haciendo es la última última bueno ¿Cuál sería la para la primera pregunta? Good stop. Eh, ya, lo, ya lo hice, Ulises, todas me salieron correctas. Wow, seriously. Eh, ¿Te puedes meter al link? Yes, eh, estoy viendo las preguntas ahorita. Ok. De Veamos. Nueces, no sé ¿cuál es? Walnuts, es nueces. ¿Qué es este? Um, uh -huh. I don't know, Brazil nuts. Can you eh, poner? 
it's a it's a type of, of seed uh, uh, like uh, almonds. I think I never eat that. Mm, me too. <laughs> okay. Brazil nuts, number one. Yes. Number two, pistachios. That's, uh, pistachios, yeah. Yeah. Number three, uh, almonds. Yes. Almonds. And, and number four, cashews. Mm, what? Yes. Sí, cashews. Cash. Mm -hmm. Ok. Ok. Vamos a ver. Excelente. Bien. Very good. Cash. Ah, ok. Ok. It's, it's done. Oh, now what? Vamos. Okay, uh, Nelson, what will you do if you miss your family and friends? Miss in uh, other place or, or... Mm -hmm. I mean, if you miss your family and friends, if you probably are in another country. Okay. Mm -hmm. What will you do? Mm -hmm. I'm thinking in that. <laughs> I try to, I try to, to call, call to call uh, every, every week. Okay. Every week. And I, I will, I will say mm -hmm. that I miss. <laughs> I miss, uh, I miss you. I miss them. Uh -huh. I miss them. I miss them. Okay. Thank, thank you. All right. And I feel mm, not good. Um, I feel bad mm -hmm. because okay. uh, because it's sadly that. Okay. Because that is sad. Okay. Because uh, that is sad. Okay. Uh, the last question goes for uh, Edwin. Edwin, what would you do if you ran out of money? If I, sorry, ran out of money. Yes. Run so, out of money. Yes, I have to work for okay. have money because if I don't have money, I don't have anything to buy. Okay, yes. All right. So um, I have sent um, a direct message to Glenda and to Wilbur, okay? So we are going to play Guess the Movie. Uh, Glenda, you are going to start and then uh, Wilbur, okay? So, Glenda, you go first. Ready? Okay. Okay, give me one second. I'm going to play the, the time. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, go. Okay, this, this child was created with, by her grandfather mm -hmm. uh, he didn't like to go to the school and he loves to make uh, bad things. And the, the most important things in that movie is you be trust, you trust in yourself and don't and don't follow the the bad people. And other point 
in this movie is the the chief, the guy, the the child. Mm -hmm. His nose growing up when he lied. Mm -hmm. His nose grows. Grows when he lied. When he lies. And he he had a lot of problem when when he lied. And also the grandparents. Yes, Pinocchio. Perfect. Oh, Pinocchio. Yes, next. Okay. Yes. That movie was created in the typical tradition of Mexico, was so popular and around the world. Coco. Which? Coco. 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 Yes, but we have another one. A decir los verduleros, Iba. No, we have El Santo. No, okay. Mm -mm. okay. Glenda, give more details. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, by Coco or other? For the, for the previous one. It, I didn't see this movie. You haven't seen? Okay, next. Okay. That movie, it's... Uh, it's the kind of action movie. It's so popular, was popular when the men uh, always win the, the, I don't know what to say, um, always win and it's impossible to die. Mm -hmm. uh, it's so fast to jump, to run and use the... <laughs> Hard to die? No. Yes, it's hard. It is hard to die, die but, but it's not the name of the movie. It is really popular, that movie. Really popular. What everybody say, you are like uh, when you jump and you win the, the, the worm and never be destroyed. Die hard? Mm -mm. It's an action movie. Know. I don't want Terminator. Like at this. The other popular name of the action movie. John Wick? Mm, no, but it is, it is the same actor. It's yeah, same but you need Robocop Matrix. more specific yes, because you, you yes. tell. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I never had seen <laughs> my Matrix. You see whatever movie, right? Okay. But yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> okay, thank you, Glenda. Wilbur, go. Thank you. Wilbur. Wilbur, are you there? Yes, leave. Oh my God, Wilbur. <laughs> Let me see. Se me había trabado la, la lapo, sorry. <laughs> okay, uh, the first movie uh, is the against Spider-Man. <laughs> Six against Spider Man. <laughs> he's black, but he's bad. Venom. Venom. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's, it's, it's a it's a kid movie. It's it's a, it's about a it's about a a, a, a rat. Ah, oh, no, another, another. He has, he has a, 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 a rat. another rat, but uh, he has a, a brother. Mm. Oh, no. Okay. Ah, mm -hmm. I hate this movie. Okay. <laughs> this movie uh, appears so many. Yes. About five. Uh, he's, an, he's, an, he's an animal. Uh, he's fat, he's black and white, and he's learning to fight. Uh, Kung Fu Panda. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. I don't know how to describe this movie. And the last one. The last one. Okay. Okay. And they travel in, into into a boat because they have uh, so many aventures. They 
drunk always. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He drank. So. Uh -huh. He drank. He's, he always drank, and he he never he never won. He never uh, he never wants what he wants because he was he has a, a brújula. I don't know how to say brújula. Compass. What? Brújula is a compass. All right, yes. So, brújula, compass, y sí, teatro del Caribe. All right, very good. All right. Ah, okay. All right. Okay, guys, so we are going to stop right here just because of the time. Okay, thank you very much for joining. I'll see you back on Monday, and I hope you have a great weekend. Take care, okay? Good night. 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 Fatima, are you there? Well, Fatima disconnected. All right.